Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, February 24th, so God bless every single one of you. I hope you have a wonderful day today and just continue your week having a great week. It is going to be very warm, so be very careful. A lot of ice and, and, and sheets of ice on these roofs with all this snow that's melting. It will slide off these roofs and create problems. I remember last year it did a bunch of crashes, a bunch of problems, especially in the big cities. Matter of fact, mine fell off on me last night while I was making that update video. So uh, I kind of been up all night, <laughs> all day yesterday, uh, but and I did crash. But I am going after this video to get to y'all comments from last night. Then I'll come to this one. <laughs> I just want to make sure I answer everybody's question. Now that video is kind of long. It's only because I have to cover the whole U.S. Now I'm not just going to cover one section. There's a lot of people involved, so I had to include everybody's impacts. It was the right thing to do. But we have these quick uh, moving storms that is moving across the northeast. I did a video on that. It's not going to be much going on. It's just going to be light accumulations of snow, some rain. But we have this high pressure that is trapping this, these storms and all these dew points in the, from coming from the Gulf down in the south. And this is going to stir up a lot of convective activity. This is the Cape Values right above my head. And you can see that it just creates these storms and all this energy goes all across the southeast. Now the one on the very top, uh, of course the surface low pressures and precip, so you can see the snow, because soon after all this, these storms leave when the high pressure moves, it's going to go up towards the northeast. So you will see snow, uh, whether it's melting at, at a layer where you'll see it before it turns to rain, that's another question. And it's not going to be a really no accumulation, you're just going to see it and then it's going to rain. But if you've never been here before, good morning to you, good day. My name is Mark. I upload every single day. I do do updates in the afternoon if there's been some major changes. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click all on the bell. That way you do get notified of those. Uh, however, I do show that we are going into a very extreme pattern change. So if you didn't see the video from last night, I'll put it up here on the top right corner. That way you can check it out sometime today or just sometime because we are going to be directly in the center of the country. Freezing cold with, with teens in the wind chills, with some negative temperatures in the northeast, with extreme uh, rainfall in the southeast. So our next weather pattern going into March isn't going to be good. But that was last night. Let's talk about this. <laughs> and so far, everybody's looking better on the power grid, except, except for West Virginia. And they had some storms pass by last night. There's still 12,000 people out of, out of power. So God bless you, West Virginia. I hope, I hope that your power comes on very quickly, very soon for you. Now, as we go in through, this is 6 o'clock this morning. This is a system in the Midwest. This system is pretty much just going to tumble around on the north and the extreme north. There's going to be very light accumulation coming from this. What's coming after this is going to be these storms. And by noon today, it's going to bounce around northern Michigan, and it's going to start making its way towards the, the New England states. Now, this is just going to be on the intercoastal. That's, it. that's all that's going to be affected by this. And by 6 o'clock tonight, it's, well, 7 o'clock Eastern time, it's going to be hitting on New Hampshire, northern Maine, a little bit of northern Vermont, while you're getting rain uh, and mixed precipitation in northern New York. And as you go through the night around midnight, 1 o'clock Eastern time, it starts turning into a little bit more of snow because your temperatures are dropping. So northern New York, let me get a better shot for you. Especially for uh, extreme north New York, northern Vermont, uh, New Hampshire, you can get both mixed precipitation uh, as it's changing, plus the snow in the extreme north. And man, you're going to get some more snowfall, a little bit. But these are the accumulations for that. It's very light across the whole country. You got northern Wisconsin with a couple inches, a little bit in Minnesota. Northern Michigan, extreme northern, a couple inches. And where it bounced around for the northeast through the nighttime, you got a couple inches of, of addition. Uh, a little bit more in Maine, maybe three to five in certain spots in the corner. But mostly two to three inches for northern New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire. And just to show you all variables, uh, GFS shows that it actually stays colder temperatures up there. And instead of rainfall, you get a little bit more heavier snow. It's a possibility for five, maybe six. And it's even showing that for northern Michigan. Now, as we get into about 6 p.m. on Friday, these storms are going to start adding up in the south because of this high pressure blocking uh, all this moisture trying to rise and go up. So all this convection, all these thunderstorms, all this hot moisture. I mean, you got good temperatures down there, but it is going to come with a price. It is going to have some flooding potentials anywhere from Texas all the way across uh, Tennessee to maybe even South Carolina. And you can see the storm start to build up with the severe weather starting in Texas. And this that's the one right above me with the strong Cape values. This is going to carry all the way over. 
as well as some very high dew points. Now, all this moisture and heat is going to create convective activity. Heat has to rise. So this is going to start from Texas and it's going to swing big time all the way over. Matter of fact, these dew points is going to reach over later on uh, towards the Midwest, towards southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, with about 45 to 50 uh, de uh, degree temperatures because of these dew points reaching way up high. But this is going to create the atmosphere for these severe thunderstorms in the south and southeast. And this is all the way until Sunday. You can see from Friday all the way to Sunday, it's going to spread all the way across from Texas all the way to South Carolina. So within all this is a lot of moisture. It's a lot of thunderstorms, uh, severe thunderstorms, and it could even be some good tornadoes that come out of this. So as you walk it through on Friday, you see the high pressure is still blocking the system. And as this, all this moisture and all this from this surface low pressure moves over to the east, it's moving with this high pressure so it stays blocked the whole weekend. Here's six hours later, you can see it shifts all the way towards South Carolina, as well as the high pressure still blocking it from going anywhere to the northeast. It will eventually, just not yet, it's going to be there for a while, and it will cause a lot of floods. Now by 6 p.m. on Saturday, this high pressure is going to move over just enough to where this, all this moisture, all this heat can start rising up to the northeast. And it is colder temperatures up there. So now everybody from, from Virginia pretty much, from mid-Atlantic mid all the way to the northeast is a good chance to see snow before the rain comes. So it's not going to stick, of course, but you still might see it in the air. As well as some for the Midwest. There's going to be rainfall on the, on the bottom side of, of Wisconsin. North side is going to snow before possibly to rain as well. And as we follow it on through, you see that it does turn into snowfall for lots of people. But once again, all this rain is going to rot around on this high pressure. This high pressure is spinning clockwise. So it's going to pull all this to the north. So as it pulls it into the, the cold temperatures, it's going to turn to snow. But still, all this warm temperatures from these strong dew points and all this moisture that was building up in the south is going up that way. So it will turn right into rain soon after as well as some, some severe thunderstorms uh, over Tennessee, Kentucky. There's going to be a, a big area of heavy rainfall. And you can see the, the snow in the Midwest with the mixed precipitation and, and the regular rain that's going to come right after. This is going to swing across. So maybe extreme north Wisconsin, maybe extreme north Michigan, uh, Michigan we'll, we'll see actually, actually some accumulation out of this. But it is going to rise up with rain after. Now, a little bit later on Saturday, you can see it did affect Michigan the same way it did Wisconsin. Half of it's going to be in rain, half of it's going to be in snowfall, and it's pretty much just circling around. And it's also hitting uh, northern Pennsylvania, also uh, New York by this time, while everybody else is getting rainfall. It's just too warm at this point. So Long Island, New Jersey, maybe the far north New Jersey will see some. That's about it. New York City, you might get some mixed precipitation out of this. You might get some snow. It's very close on all three uh, precip types. And as it circles around later on on Saturday, this is Maine, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern New York. You will see some snowfall once again like everybody else, and but the rain is coming after just like everybody else. As it leaves out late Saturday into Sunday, the tip of Maine gets the last bit of snowfall while everybody else did turn into rainfall. And you got more storms building up. But through it all, from now to Sunday, you do have some uh, one to two inches all across Montana. High ele elevations has anywhere from eight, eight inches to a foot, as well as Washington and Oregon. It is sporadic across. Colorado gets some snow anywhere from two to five inches, two to four inches. Uh, there is a swath of snow that will come into this temperature, but once again, it is warm temperatures coming as well. But our country is literally going to be split in half. So if you want to see what, what, what uh, March is going to be, look like as we go into it, go check out the video from last night. And you do see that northern Wisconsin will get anywhere from two to four inches as well. And the northeast is pretty much going to be light. Everybody will see some snow, but everybody will turn into rain shortly after. So it definitely will be in the sky. Uh, higher elevations will see some, some accumulations, especially uh, far north uh, New York, northern uh, Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. And, but it will be anywhere from 2 to 6 inches. It's just isolated on the heaviness. And once again, the GFS shows heavier amounts just like it did within the first 48 hours we'll be dealing with now. It's showing it can get up to 7 to 8 inches for the extreme north New England states. And the precipitation, the rain that's going to be in the south 
in the central U.S. It's going to be heavy. And the heaviest amount so far, it goes anywhere from Arkansas with four inches straight across all the way to Tennessee and parts of Kentucky with four inches. With five in the extreme, uh, even six. It's a lot of heavy rainfall. It's going to be a lot of flooding. And that's what you see here. This is your five. This is your one to five day outlook. This is your heaviest part of the precipitation. Also, you got it in high altitudes uh, in the north in the northwest. But it goes anywhere from Texas all the way across uh, Arkansas, all the way across northern Mississippi, Alabama, even uh, Tennessee. But it's pretty heavy amounts. This is very heavy. Uh, rainfall that's going to be all across this whole area. Now this could shift a little bit further to the east because uh, all this energy, all this the storms is going to be moving to the east and it's still a little bit away. It's one to five days. Uh, really it's about three to five days. So as the, the ocean uh, up above in, in our atmosphere moves around, it could actually, since it's a little bit further away, this could shift a little bit matter of fact i i think it would shift i think it'd be more like this blue line here will be the red i think it will shift over some so this is what it looks like i'm gonna put it in fast motion time and dates on the top left that way you can see the storms that will come on on the south side of, the, of this snowstorm in the northeast but at the end of the run this is only going to be 60 hours it's just two and a half days you can see that storms will build up uh, for Texas and Louisiana and move across the south and it looks like they're going to be some pretty good severe storms You see them right there Plus don't forget the severe storms that is coming on the bottom of this snowstorm up here So we do have a multiple couple of things to watch out for Patterns is changing guys. God bless you all. Hope you have a very great day I want to take a second to praise our Lord. We should do it every day in our lives. Amen Psalms 100 Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Y'all have a very blessed day. Thank you for tuning in to me today. I love you all. Now I'm going to go read your comments from last night. <laughs> I kind of crashed. I've been up for a long time. You have a great day. I know you could do it. It's not hard. You've been doing great this week. Keep it going, guys. God bless you all. All glory does go to God. God of Jacob. Amen.